We're going to talk about the 3D gizmo that appears every time we drop a mesh, either a closed mesh or an open mesh. I'm going to go back one step so we can see the drop window. So I'm going to go Control Z or Command Z. And we're going to zoom in onto this gizmo right here. And as you can see, this gizmo is made out of four pieces. The sphere in the middle is what we use to move the dropped object, either a solid or an open mesh. The ring around the sphere is what we use to rotate the dropped mesh. This arrow right here is the same thing as the dimensions in our drop solid menu. It will scale the object. And this little disc right here is going to switch into a tilt and twist gizmo, but that only applies for open meshes. All right, so let's see how this works. We are going to go to Mesh Mix, and under Arms, I'm going to drag a hand onto the bunny surface. And notice that now I can drag this hand by clicking and dragging on that little sphere, rotate, scale. And when I do the scale, notice that on our drag and drop menu, the size changes. I'm going to move it around on the surface. And now I'm going to click W to bring the wireframe because I want you to notice that unlike closed objects, open objects have to be physically attached to the mesh. They cannot be appended. Next, we're going to learn how to use the tilt and twist gizmo, which is exclusive to open objects. To switch between the 3D gizmo and the tilt and switch, we're going to click on this disc right here. Now you will notice a tilt and a twist handle. Notice that when you click on the tilt handle, the sphere will appear. And when we click on the twist handle, a disc will appear that will allow us to visualize our rotation. I'm going to click on the little cone on the top and notice that when I do that, the sphere shows up. I can tilt this shape and it's never going to move from the base. The base is always going to be attached to the bunny's body. Now, when I select the twist handle, notice that I can twist the mesh, but the opening part, the part that is attached to the bunny will not move. If I want to move the entire mesh, I'm going to switch back to the standard 3D gizmo. And there you have it. All right, before we get started, I want you to notice that every time we click on accept and then I go to actions, undo or control Z, the color of our poly group is going to change. All right, let's get started by resetting the attributes back to the default. And we're going to start with size. Notice that when I use the arrow for our 3D gizmo, I'm able to manually change the size of our open object. It is the same thing as going to the size attribute. And next we're going to do bend. Bend is the stiffness of the part relative to the shape of the underlying surface, as you guys can see right here. Let's go ahead and undo. Offset controls how the part is pushed in and out of the surface. If I use a positive number, the mesh will be pushed away from the surface. And if I select a negative number, the mesh will be pushed inside of the surface. Bulge controls how the part is bent in and out of the surface. Let's type 5 and you will notice how the mesh is bulging out from the base. Let's reset this to zero and let's undo. Smooth R is the size of the support region around the part, which is automatically smooth. As you can see, we get a better transition between the surface of the bunny and the base of the open object. Next, we're going to go to D scale. D scale is an internal scale factor for the part. You have a fall off that goes from the base to the tip. So the more you increase the D scale, the bigger the scale is going to get at the tip of the object, not at the base. Let's undo that. Next, we're going to talk about S falloff. S falloff controls the location of the linear transition for the D scale attribute. 
So instead of starting the scale from the base of the object to the tip, by changing the S falloff, we can have the scaling happen further in, below the base of our open object. The tweak R is the expansion factor for the part support area. We use this to fix stitching failures that we get when we drop an open object onto a mesh. And this covers all of the attributes for the drag and drop menu.